Hi, welcome to Zoltworks 2020 video tutorial. I want to do that car fin exercise in SOLIDWORKS. Please note if you want to get a more detailed part, you would have to go for more pictures and you should go for smaller surfaces. But let's have some fun with SOLIDWORKS. Okay, I've already opened the part with the pictures. If you want to know how to do this, there is a video in my YouTube channel. I want to go for a 3D sketch. Let's take a view from the side and draw a spline along this edge here. Maybe like that. Switch to a top view, and I want to move that spline. And I could could do this with move entities, select it, and just move it in that direction till it aligns with that point here. It's a little bit up, maybe like this. Confirm. Now I want to edit the single points here. So select it and move it straight up. Same here. And you see there is sort of a trace line you can use for alignment. like that and the last point should go up as well up to this one and confirm now i want to add another spline which should snap right here on this point so deselect it and then go for that spline again snap onto that point and make a spline like that. So if we take a look, you see it's already in 3D. Now let's take a look from this side again and align those points. So this should go down, this should go down Yeah, maybe this could go down a little bit as well. Yeah, I think that's okay. Let's move over to those edges. Draw another spline, which starts right here, goes here and there. Add another one snap, go down, maybe like that. Those two should be tangent, so select both of them and go for tangency. And of course you can control the tangency here with those arrows. I will leave it with that. Now I want to align it from a different view, so go to this view here. And I want to use the back as reference, so let's hide that picture. And now adjust those points here. So go there, drag it horizontally. this one maybe like this adjust the other points as well
Yeah, that should do. Bring back sketch minus four and hide this one because it's not needed any longer. Let's take a look from this side. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. So let's adjust this a little bit. So this might be more like move it a little bit up like this. Let's take another view from the front. Yeah. And now I should maybe adjust that point a little bit. Only a little bit. Maybe like that. Okay. Now I will need those arcs in order to get them right. I need a line here, snap onto that point here, and like this. And now let's draw an arc. And we go for a three point arc. First point snap here, second point snap there, and then like this. And another one from this point to that one, and like this. And confirm. Nice. Now I want to rotate those elements. So I want to rotate this one, that one, and of course that line around that point here. So let's go to a front view. And go to rotate entities. And I want to rotate, let's go here. I want to rotate this one. That one. And the line is already there, that's great. And the rotation reference doesn't matter. Let's take a look where the center is, it's here. So move it up to that point up here. And now I can rotate those elements in that direction. Looks good. So confirm. I need two more lines. One from this point to that point, And another one from this point here to this point here to that point over there, like this, okay, and confirm. Now let's leave that 3D sketch. So in order to make the surfaces, I need separate sketches. Therefore, I will make a new 3D sketch and convert entities. I want to have those two arcs and this line and that line in my sketch. Leave that one. Hide it for a moment and make another 3D sketch and convert those splines here, that line and this arc and confirm. Leave that sketch. Maybe hide those picture sketches. 
hide the original 3D sketch, bring back the, that one. Now I want to do a surface fill. Let's start with this 3D sketch and confirm. Let's try the other one. So there is a, a gap somewhere. Let's check the original one. Let's hide that one and hide the sketch. Hide this one and bring back the original 3D sketch. Let's check it out by editing it and you can just drag one of those points and if, he is, if they stay connected that's not the problem. Let's try it here. I see that's the problem. Now in order to get that fixed I want to fix that point here. So just fix this one and then make those two points coincident by merging them. And maybe that was the gap. Let's try. Hide that one, bring back this one, bring back that surface. Let's go for another fill surface, select it, and now it works. And confirm. Then I can hide that sketch and this one. No, that one. Now they're all hidden. Now I can do a surface fillet. Maybe 20 millimeters between this surface. Arrow points down, that's okay. And that surface, arrow points down. To the correct side as well and confirm. And I'm done. So I hope it was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. Would be very nice of you. I want to get more subscriptions and likes over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.